went to a sporting event last night. Who am I? Someone who supports their friends. Hi, I'm Megan Batoon. Before we get into the video itself, let's address some common questions from the last video. What is going on with the LA house? Here's what life is like. In my drastic change of lifestyles, I realized that my love for Los Angeles started to not become love, and I still do really like that city, so how do I figure out a way to live my life the way that I want to live it and experience the feelings that I want to experience. For my mental health and sanity and spirituality, I needed to leave from LA. However, Joe still lives in LA. All my friends still live in LA. If I need to shoot or do something, I'm only two hours away. So I did not sell the space. I am renting it out to friends and friends of friends. It has become a hub for creatives that are going in and out of Los Angeles being Creative. Here's the thing. When I moved to Los Angeles from Florida, I didn't have a job. I could not get a place because you need so much stuff. You need a bunch of pay stubs. You need an actual job that they deem a job. So I was like, I hate that for creatives because a lot of people, especially if you're a freelancer, you don't know when your next job is coming. I'm still living that life. Joe and I bought this house and that house is being rented to artists that are working in film and TV. Basically giving creatives the chance to try and make their dreams happen without cock blocking their careers. We out here. I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole tour on that house. I mean, I understand that we have gotten through a lot together in renovating it. I haven't finished all the rooms and now all the rooms are other people's rooms. So I'll do what I can and that's what I'll do. Life motto. Okay, so here's the thing. We launched that 90s place on Airbnb and the video came out and I thought I was done. And then Nicole brought home this rusty bench. So this is the final piece. This is the last thing that I'll do once I finish this then I can start on this place. Also, the good thing about keeping the LA house as a creative space is that when people are out of town and they wanna do collabs, then there's a place to do that. All of this to say, I had literally negative two brain cells to try and figure out how to refurbish and flip this bench. So I had the sorry girls help. I've never met Becky and Kelsey before. I've only seen them on the internet. I spent two days with them and they were so sweet and so delightful and I could not have done this without them. We also did a collab on their channel. So go check that out after you watch this one. We actually filmed all over that place. So in a way it's like a very unofficial tour of that space. So look at that, everybody wins. As you can see, there is no seat, so I just decided to start from scratch and take off the back as well. Taking an orbital sander to any of the rusty parts, AKA all of it. Then I'm spray painting the frame with this tangerine spray paint. This was actually Becky's idea. She said it in passing. She didn't think I was gonna do it, and then I did it. Then by the time it was barely dry because I'm realizing that I have room for improvement with my time management, Hello! What a cool color! We actually don't know what we are going to do. <laughs> Which I think is really fun because on a lot of DIY channels, we're just doing stuff, yeah. right? Like it's just like, oh, a time lapse and a this and a that. But like, this is fun because like, I have no idea what this, <laughs> is, this is gonna be. What I was thinking was like some sort of woven moment. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's no seat or no back. <laughs> so we need to fabricate that. This is all I've got. Honestly, like all of my tools are in the desert. I don't have a sewing machine. I don't really have a power tool. <laughs> so we are gonna figure this out while you watch. Isn't this fun for you? <laughs> and here's the other thing is I don't think I got enough. Okay, so. Oh, pretty! Right? Ooh. Ooh. Like we're, okay, right, is this, the, is this the move? I just don't know how we're gonna keep them tight together, but Hot. if we can do it, I'm into it. Right. Do you have enough With of these? these? We've already decided we don't have enough, so. <laughs> so we're starting. What are these for? Um, for fashion. Okay. Do you not think this is fashion? Go on. Can you believe she's in this fashion? Should we also just make brace? <laughs> Friendship bracelet! Cute! Did you With ever... the fashion buckle! Yeah! <laughs> it. It's like we already don't have enough material and now we're just like... How is this going to be nervous? safe? I'm nervous. I don't... Yeah, I don't think I should be... This <laughs> part. Wait, do you consent to this? Wait. And then a three, two, one. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> 
Honestly, cute. It could use a buckle. A fashion buckle. It could buckle. use an Apple Watch. <laughs> Okay, now back to the okay. actual project. Yeah. Now that we're situated. I can't with these fucking bracelets. Yeah. I mean, we don't have any more. <gasps> That's the end of the roll. Oh, no. Hopefully this stuff's not so expensive. I know, it's like $20. A roll? Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> but this is going to be the cool. You can't buy this couch. $120 for just a seat. <gasps> but it's going to be so cute. That's how I had a shopping problem because I think it's cute and I spend too much money on it. <laughs> Dang, that one looks so good. That is sex. Ah, you just made a lawn chair. Look at that. <laughs> the whole thing. Good work, guys. Or is the base like, do you do a cushion on it or something? And yeah, it's so Oh, it. yeah, yeah. And, and make this the moment here, and yeah. then this is just function. Yeah, you could literally just put like a piece of ply across this. Yes. And put a cute cushion on it. Is this anything or no? It's <laughs> something. I and like it. You like do. something, you go, that could be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> How have you outed me in the two days of knowing me? <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> yeah, that looks awesome. It's gonna be so taut. It's gonna be so taut. Cute. That's wow. so good. I. I mean, this was your right. idea. Like, you bought yeah. these. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is what you had hoped. <laughs> Buying something and doing something are two different things. Fair, fair, fair. So should we do that on every side? But you would have had to have cut. I think that's going to be so much work for you, if I'm being honest. Yeah, to cut. But what if you did it? <laughs> I mean. Uh, I see what you mean by it being, like, a lot of work. Yeah. But I do think it will be worth it. <laughs> Jesus. That was on fire. <laughs> Very briefly. This one got singed. I know. Oh, no. I mess it up. <laughs> but maybe that's where we put the first. Oh, yeah. We'll save it. We'll make sure we weave it that way. That's what I'm learning the most, I think, about <laughs> doing projects is like, nothing is going to be perfect, but it's the way that you cover it up. Yeah. Like, finish work has saved my life so many times because I'll just like put something together. I'm like, whoa, that looks awful. If yeah. your finish work is good, yeah. No also, one will tell. Like, it's just creative problem solving that makes it so exciting. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, there's this issue. And yeah. And you fix it. I feel like DIY is an escape room that you get to like work on. Because it's like more puzzles and more puzzles. How are we going to put this buckle on? How are yeah. we going to do this? Oh, I messed that up. How are we going <laughs> to fix cover it? it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. we did say that. You can't leave until this <laughs> couch is sittable. It's giving me Billie Eilish vibes. I feel like we're actually doing like good. Yeah, I'm feeling honestly way better than, <laughs> than that. It's where you start and it's where you end up. That got scary real quick. How has your styles changed from the beginning of your channel to now? Oh, it's, yeah, it's changed a lot. I like just didn't have a style in the beginning. Yeah, I didn't know. know. It was kind of like, oh, whatever is trending at the moment is like, I love it because obviously totally. everyone else loves it too. Cut away to my shiplap wall. <laughs> yeah, but even like the boho that we had like, you know, mm, a couple of years yep. ago. I remember being like, oh, Wicker's classic. Like, how can we ever get sick of Wicker? And, and then you do. And I'm like, I, justifying it. Like, oh, I like, like, tropical stuff because, like, you know, it's so cold in Canada in the winter. Like, <laughs> I just want to feel warm. Like, that's that's a unique thing. I'm not doing it because everyone likes it. See, that's the hard part, I think, is, like, you need to really focus on what you like. Yes. And not let what you're seeing yeah, decide. Totally. Which is like impossible because we're just, you know, societal little lambs that like just inundated with yeah, well, and also ideas. the great thing about the internet is there is like communities for what you like everywhere, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Yes. So even if you find something that you think is like niche to yourself, like you'll discover a community of people that like that too. That's why I really like making things and also things with a story, like a vintage piece of furniture from your family or mm -hmm. like something that you put a lot of time and effort into because like you're less likely to move on, move along from those things because they have yeah. sentimental value. Totally. And then you can like make them work in your design as your design changes. Mm -hmm. You really sold me on the multi-buckle. It's it, more it's than like, interesting now. It's giving me Hot Topic. It's not giving Hot Topic. It's giving like 50s beach. Like I feel like they had a lot of stripes. An old belt from the 50s might have this Only. instead of a fancy mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. We should make belts after too. We've already decided we don't have enough. Wait, how do I do this? Ooh. I feel like I've been struggling with this. Do I just need to give myself more slack? Giving yourself more slack in life is great <laughs> advice. <laughs> That's what I've learned this past year, and oh, my life is so, so much better. So full circle. Somebody the other day was talking to me about like one of their first DIY projects, and they were coming to the realization that doing stuff like this teaches you so much about your internal self. Mm. 
And that's what I love so much. You feel so empowered that you can do something yeah. mm -hmm. and you feel so accomplished and then you get to be creative but also use both sides of your brain. And it's so fulfilling. And just like the best part is when people come over and they're like, where's that from? You can say, I freaking made it. Like my hands. Yeah. yeah. My brain. This from my brain. Yeah. Like oh, this? You can't tell Shucks. people a store for this. Like this is your brain. Mm -hmm. And that's so cool. Beautiful. Let the weaving begin. I have this piece of OSB. I hate OSB, but it is strong enough to hold this. Oh, I do have this wood. Oh my God, there's a spider right in front of my face. Ah, the wind. This is how crazy the wind is. I tried to put up a pergola for Joe's birthday. It looks like an art installation. That is how bad the wind is. That was once upright. So what I wanna do here is cut a curved oblong bench out of half inch ply. So maybe if I put that on top of the OSB, it would be strong enough and pretty enough. This right now looks really playful and vintage, but I want it to feel still chic. So I think if we add some curves, we're gonna be in our sweet spot. This is the state of affairs of the bench. There is still no seat. The back is done. It looks great. It's woven and beautiful. Now we've got to figure out what to do with the bench part of the bench. I'm gonna try and just use whatever I have around my house. The thing that I was gonna use though, this is literally welcome to the desert. The wind is so crazy here and people had said that before, but I was like, okay, cool. Like it's a little breezy. This was like Wizard of Oz. This piece of MDF flew up into the air. First of all, it was over there and all of a sudden it's levitating it is approaching the roof it hits this chair breaks it cracked in half here and then the other piece traveled all the way over here so we ain't playing out here is what i am learning today let's see how to make this happen This is me trying to figure out the degree of the curve that I want, but instead it just kind of looks like I am performing a Reiki session on this piece of wood. But once I decide exactly how long I want it to extend from the sides, she gets cut, clamped, and now it's time to draw the actual curve. I like to find the midpoint so I know exactly where both of my curves are going to meet in the middle. I am notoriously very bad at math, so I use this app called Carpenter Calc. It's really cool because it goes into fractions and it has this little tab on top so you can read the display as if you were looking at a tape measure, which is super helpful when you need to translate that onto your piece of wood. I'm just eyeballing the curves that I'm drawing as a template. I can always make any alterations when I'm sanding it. Anytime I'm working with wood and have to do any sort of finishing, I always use a tack cloth. This is basically like a sticky cheesecloth and it'll basically take away any debris or sand remnants. I'm using a grayish wood stain because it had this lavender undertone to it, which I felt like was gonna be really nice with the tonal purple fabric straps already on the bench. Using an exterior polyurethane spray, I'm just protecting this since it is gonna be outside and I don't really trust the elements out here. This is my go-to product for adhering anything that's a little bit finicky, whether it is fabric to metal, plastic to glass. It's called Loctite. It has saved me so many times, so I'm definitely going to have this in my kit. Let me rephrase, I'm gonna make a kit and that's the first thing that I'll put in there. Okay, the stain has dried and we have arrived. Let's do one collective inhale and exhale for finally finishing. Here we go. That was the audience cheering. Look at where we are. And do not forget where we came from. This 
is what it feels like to be supported, huh? Thank you, Becky and Kelsey, for helping me build this. I'm gonna go inside, because I think it might be Wizard of Oz part two coming. Okay, see you soon, bye. I'm making for two. It's just a tip.